Hello everyone, this is Mr. PC23. Here I'm going to show you the uh, the amount of watts that my desktop pulls at startup, idle, and then gaming on crisis. Alright, so let's start it up. So you jump up to 60, 167, 249, 254. Alright. So right now it's staying in the 200 range, oh, 307, 318. It's going through the BIOS right now. Just about to start the operating system. And it is loading the operating system now. So we're at 305 watts. 319, 355. And in my system, I have two 5870s, 8 gigs of RAM running at 1.6 volts, a 955 Black Edition overclocked to 4 gigahertz. So we're starting into Windows now, loading all of our programs and whatnot. My fans kick up, I have to change that. Hold on, it's probably drawing more power than it needs to. Just from that. Alright. Nah, it didn't drop any. Well, there we go. So, let me bring up Task Manager to see how much processor power usage I'm running. Um, on and off right now. So, that, that was startup. Ran it between 16 and 25. I'll, I'll quit Steam. Seems a pain in the ass. And next to update shit in the background. Alright, so Steam has been quit. We're at 192, 196 volts, and my desktop is at about 1% CPU usage. So that's that's pretty much idle. At 4 gigahertz, 196, 200. So it's not a terrible idle for for a gaming desktop with a bunch of fans running. Um, so yeah, we're gonna let's minimize that. And let's start up a CPU stressor. So this will just be the CPU that's getting stressed. Alright, it is maxed out right now. Alright, so it's jumping up. It Would it go down to 149 or something like that? So with the CPU maxed out, it jumps from like, what, 140, 160 to 308, 306, 314. That's going to keep fluctuating. My overclock's not really that stable right now, so I'm going to quit out of that. The voltage is a little bit too low. If I up it 0 0.05, it makes it stable. I was just going for lower voltages. So, in like 150, 154, 160, if, I'm, if I don't touch the mouse, it's like 150. Alright, so, now, let's start up Crisis 2. Alright, so we're at the loading screen, or the enter screen, and it's already jumped up to a uh, nice 262 watts. Let's press enter. And now we're at the no normal screen. We'll do a little bit of scrolling and see if that makes it spike at all. No, it's not really affecting it. So we'll resume my campaign. So I'll start loading now. It's loading off a hard drive. So that's taking some power. It's, it's definitely not using the full 1000 watts. Not even close to it, but it's still taking quite a bit of power. Yep, so the game is just about done loading up. Let's see. Let's watch it jump. Alright, the game is up and running now. Oh, wow. So, we're at 429. Bring up that screen. That keeps it the same. Let me try to run through a bit. So, looks like we're getting about 430 watts to, uh, Play Crisis. I'm just shooting. Wow, shooting lowers it. That's kind of weird. Let's try a grenade. Oh, I'm all out of grenades. Let's cloak and see if that stresses the GPUs at all anymore. Not really. So it looks like the peak is about 300. Oh, sorry, 440-ish. Uh, yeah. Keep spamming keys. So you can get up a bit. Yeah, like 445 is probably the peak or something like that. I don't know, you guys watching the video is probably more accurate. So if we quit, crisis. Let's quit it, yes. Instant drop. Down to... 50. Fans just kicked up. Total like 157, 158 watts. That's not terrible at idle, but... Um, uh, I wouldn't run this 24-7. No way in hell, that'd, that'd still be expensive. So yeah, I'm sure if I uh, downclocked the CPU back to its spec, it would probably run much 
less, or it would take less watts to run it. But um, I like my performance. So yeah, that's uh, how many watts my desktop takes.